Okay, so I got called from this client. We're doing a consultation on their lawn, and they called us and said, the landscaper called us and said they had grubs. So we come out here and we look, and we don't have grubs. What this lawn has is large patch disease. Okay, so this is what large patch disease looks like. We know it isn't grub because we'll be able to lift this, and it's stuck. It's not coming up. When you have grub, that's going to come up like a toupee. It's obvious of a reason. One is temperatures. This disease is given to temperature during this time of the year uh, because of the cool temperatures. But we have an over-irrigation problem evident by the, um, the weed situation that we have. Um, and what we're looking at is excessive shade in this area because of the trees. So you have a combination problem of excess water, the disease being triggered by the uh, temperatures, and then it's being exasperated by the amount of water feeding the disease and secondary uh, root rotting and other issues. So the issue here is going to be treat it, put it on a program every month, uh, because when we have diseases, we cannot... Um, treat diseases as they occur we have to be on them because this would be two to three weeks you know this could be completely eaten up by this disease it'll start small like these little patches then the little patches unite and then you start getting the larger uh, patches in the area so this is what um, when we do a consultation why we do it uh, the cut is terrible on this lawn um, look at how it's the the blade is not sharp it's being torn up which makes it more susceptible at least it's being mowed at the right height about three inches so that's positive so this is what we look at when we're doing a consultation for a client is are we going to be able to correct a lot of these uh, problems uh, we can cut back the irrigation to uh, every uh, twice a week here in South Florida this is probably on every day or it's retaining water in those areas but there's lots of weeds in the front lots of weeds around indicating that this is a huge problem it's been going on for a while